It comes after earlier this month, Tacoma saw three shootings involving teenagers. Now police here are saying they're trying to keep guns out of the hands of kids. And I don't want a victim shame saying, you know, don't lock it up because someone's going to break into your car. That sounds terrible to say that, but there are 202 reasons for me to do that. 202 reasons for 202 guns police say were reported stolen from cars last year just in the city of Tacoma. In the hands of who knows who is really alarming for all of us. And the problem persists. Police say 10 guns were reported stolen out of cars just in the first few weeks of January. And this only represents thefts of guns from car prowls, not ones taken when a car is stolen. Now police are pleading with the public to not leave your gun in the car, even if it's locked. We get asked all the time, how are juveniles getting their hands on firearms, right? And unfortunately, some of those some of those guns might be coming from these vehicle problems. Just this month, a 17 year old was arrested in Tacoma after police say he reportedly shot and killed a 14 year old. Officers say he used a stolen gun, though it was from a house, not a car. It's important to note there's a state law that if your gun is not secured properly and it's used in a crime, you could also face criminal charges for community endangerment due to unsafe storage. Only way you won't is if you report it stolen within five days. That's why Wendy Haddo says, If you have a handgun stolen, please report it. And Haddo wants to remind you that reporting of gun theft must be done over the phone or in person. It cannot be done online. Reporting in Tacoma, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.